Johns Creek is a mostly residential suburb of Atlanta, Georgia, located about 45 minutes from downtown. For years, we always wanted to have a comprehensive tree inventory, but we never quite knew how to get started. That was until we found out about the deep learning capabilities within ArcGIS.Learn. The goal was to build a smartphone application that would help citizens both map trees as points and classify them. Let me show you what we did. First, we had to set up our training environment. That meant installing ArcGIS Pro, along with the deep learning frameworks, which include the ArcGIS API for Python, the Feature Classifier, TensorFlow, FastAI, and Torch. Once the foundation was in place, we had to collect our training data. Thankfully, a great organization named Trees Atlanta maintains a list of the top 50 tree species in our area. We used that list to find about half of our samples from the plant cleft data set. The other half we had to curate on our own. It was critical that we got equal numbers of image chips for each class so that we wouldn't under or over train any single class. This is where the real fun begins. We used the Jupyter Notebook environment within ArcGIS Pro to help train our model. First, we had to specify the path to the image directory. Then we specified the batch and chip size. Once we loaded the feature classifier model, we started training the model. Training our model of 50 classes, each with 100 image chips, took about six hours on our eight gig GPU. Once we were satisfied with the model's predictions, we saved the model as a TF Lite file. The final step was to switch to Survey123 Connect and App Studio. With Survey123 Connect, we built a custom survey on our desktop using the smart camera template and then uploaded it to ArcGIS Online. Then we switched to App Studio and used the Survey123 template app to build an app that would only use that survey that we had just created. Once we were done, we went ahead and compiled the application for both iOS and Android and released it to the app stores. The result is a very lightweight, deep learning enabled smartphone application that our citizens can use to collect both tree locations and their species. Thank you.